I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic functions. We are reviewing how to solve questions related to quadratic functions and this is one of the most important questions. And my solution, I will give you the best solution. You will be amazed how simple it can be. The question here is, a local bowling alley charges $1.05 and averages 400 customers on Friday nights. Over the past several months, the manager changed the cover charge several times to see how it affected the number of customers. The manager found that for every increase of $0.50 or 50 cents in the cover charge, the number of customers decreased by 25. Write an algebraic expression in terms of one variable to represent Ellie's revenue on a Friday night. Okay, let us understand what is revenue. Now, revenue in one variable will use variable as number of persons, n, right? So, let n be, okay, so we will not use n as number of persons, we'll use n as the number of times the charge has been increased number of times charge has been let n be uh, the number of times charge has been increased be the factor the charge increase factor okay okay so what we have here is revenue in terms of number of times the charge has been increased revenue is always cost into number of persons right so so revenue I should write here cost times number of persons right customers in this case okay now what we are trying to figure out is that the cost is varying for five dollars there are 400 customers now if I increase the cost by 50 cents then the number of customers becomes 400 minus 25 if I increase the cost by two times 50 cents then the customer will decrease by two times 25 so every n number of times I increase my cost those many n number of times 25 customers decrease. So that is kind of relation between cost and the customers. So we can write cost here as 5 plus 0 0.50 n increases and the number of customers will be 400 take away 25 times those n. Do you understand? So, so that is how I'm trying to define my value of n so n be the charges increase factor right so that's the term I'm using here okay I hope you appreciate it so n is is number of times number of times 50 cents are increased to get the best value of revenue so that is what we get so that becomes our relation right so it says write an algebraic expression in terms of one variable to represent the ALE's revenue in this case that is the expression now we'll kind of extend this question here and we'll say find the charge which will maximize the revenue okay so we have now changed this question a bit now to maximize the revenue what you can do is you can expand this and then do completing the squares and then find the answer that is an alternate way of doing it I'm not going to follow that path that is the most preferred path by most of the students now see how we can do it now we'll utilize the property of symmetry of axis for any quadratic function between two x intercepts there is a line which is symmetrical and the vertex is always on that line so let us find what are the x intercepts for this right 
So that means the zeros of these two factors. So for the first factor, which is, let me write here, 5 plus 0 0.50n, it will be 0 for what value of n? That is what I'm trying to say. So that will be 0.50n equals to minus 5, or n is equals to minus 5 divided by 0 0.5, and that is minus 10. Okay. Now, when is the second factor 0? So let's do that also. So we have 400 minus 25n, and we equate it to 0. When will that be 0? Now this will be 0 when we have 400 equals to 25n or we can say n equals to 400 divided by 25 or n is equals to how much? Let's calculate. See 100 divided by 25 is 4 so 400 will be 16. We should use calculator but we can probably do it like this. Okay so n is 16. So we got two values of n. Now if I substitute 16 then this factor will be 0. If I substitute minus 10, that factor will be 0. So these are my two real zeros. Do you understand? So these are my real zeros. So I can say real zeros, right? Uh, for n equals to minus 10 and 16. Okay. Now, what value of n will give me maximum revenue? It is average of these real zeros, right? Let's find average n value. Okay, so that will be how much? Add them up and divide by 2. So we have 16 plus minus 10 divided by 2, correct? That gives you what? 16 minus 10 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that means n equals to 3. So that really means that 3 sets of 50 cents, correct? In that case, cost will be how much? cost will be equals to, we have to substitute n by 3. So there will be 5 plus 0 0.50 times 3. Correct? So that means 15. So we have to add 1.5. Correct? So we will get 6.5 dollars. So 6.5 dollars is the cost which will maximize the revenue. You can also find how many customers will come to pay that much? Number of customers will be how much? Customers will be 400 minus 25 times 3. That means you have to take away 75 from 400. So 325 customers will come. So when, when you increase the price 3 times 50 cents, 101.50 cents, the charge will be 650 right I should write 650 and the number of customers which are going to come will be 325 but the revenue will be maximum which is going to be product of these two right so we can now find the maximum revenue which will be 325 times 6.5 which is equals to 2112.5 so revenue maximum will be 2112.5 dollars 2112.50 do you understand so by using the property of roots we can find the maximum that is probably the shortest way of finding right i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best